Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step multiplication and division equations. We'll start with multiplication. Now when we solve one-step equations, we want to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself. Basically, we want to undo whatever is being done to the variable. That way, the variable is by itself on one side of the equation. We do this by using the inverse or opposite operation. Keep in mind, it is very important that whatever is done to one side of the equation, it must be done to the other. That keeps everything balanced and equal. Let's jump into number one where we have 8x equals 72. Now we have a number next to a variable. That means we are multiplying. So this is eight times x equals 72. Anytime you see a number next to a variable, that is multiplication. So something to keep in mind. Now we need to isolate that variable of x. We need to figure out what x equals. Since x is being multiplied by eight, we need to undo that multiplication by using the inverse operation. So the opposite operation. The opposite of multiplication is division. So let's divide the left side of the equation by eight. Now whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced and equal. So let's divide the right side by eight as well. Now, as far as the left side of the equation, we are multiplying by eight and dividing by eight. So these eights cancel each other out. We have eight divided by eight. That gives us one. So we have one X, which is just X. Our variable of X is isolated. It's by itself. So we have X equals 72 divided by eight equals nine x equals 9. That's our solution. Now we can always check a solution by plugging it into the original equation. So let's plug 9 in for x and see if this works. We have 8 times 9 equals 72. 8 times 9 does equal 72, so we have the correct solution. x equals 9. Now, one thing I do want to mention about plugging that 9 back into the original equation, make sure to use something to represent multiplication. I used a dot. Putting the 9 right next to the 8, that would look like 89. Two numbers together does not represent multiplication. But when we have a number next to a variable, that does represent multiplication. So something to keep in mind. Let's move on to number 2, where we have... 39 equals 13 W. We need to isolate that variable of W. W is being multiplied by 13. So we need to undo that multiplication using the inverse operation. The inverse of multiplication is division. So let's divide this side by 13. Now whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So let's divide this side by 13 as well. Now on the right side, we are multiplying by 13 and dividing by 13. So these 13s cancel out. We have 13 divided by 13, which equals 1. So we have 1w, which is just w. Our variable is isolated. It's by itself. So we have w equals, and then on the left side, 39 divided by 13 is 3. So w equals 3. We can rewrite this with the variable coming first. So here is our solution. Let's check that solution by plugging 3 in for w in the original equation. So we have 39 equals 13 times 3. 13 times 3 does equal 39, so we have the correct solution. w equals 3. So there's how we solve one-step multiplication equations. Let's move on to division. So here are our examples of one-step division equations. 
Let's jump into number one where we have x divided by 25 equals 6. Now we need to isolate that variable of x. We need to figure out what x equals. Since x is being divided by 25, we need to undo that division by using the inverse operation. So the opposite operation. The opposite of division is multiplication. So let's multiply the left side of the equation by 25. Now whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced and equal. So let's multiply the right side by 25 as well. Now let's take a look at the left side of the equation. We are dividing by 25 and multiplying by 25. So these 25s cancel out, they equal one. Let's come to the side and quickly take a look at how the 25s cancel out and equal one. We are multiplying x divided by 25 by 25. So we have 25 times x divided by 25. I wrote 25 in fractional form since the division problem was in fractional form. That way we have numerators and denominators and we can multiply straight across. We are just multiplying fractions here. Remember, we can write any whole number in fractional form by putting it over one. Let's multiply. We'll start with the numerators, so the top numbers. 25 times x, that equals 25x. Now we can multiply the denominators, so the bottom numbers. One times 25, that equals 25. So we have 25x over 25. These 25s cancel out, they equal one. We have 25 divided by 25, that gives us that one. So we have one x, which is just x. So the variable is now isolated, it's by itself. So we have x on the left side equals, and then on the right side, six times 25, that equals 150. x equals 150, that's our solution. Now we can always check a solution by plugging it into the original equation. So let's plug 150 in for x and see if this works. 150 divided by 25 equals six. 150 divided by 25 does equal six, so that's the correct solution. x equals 150. Let's move on to number two where we have eight equals v divided by eight. Now we need to isolate that variable of v. v is being divided by eight. So we need to undo that division by using the inverse operation. The inverse of division is multiplication. So let's multiply the right side of the equation by eight. Now whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So we need to multiply the left side of the equation by eight as well. Now let's take a look at the right side of the equation. We are dividing by eight and multiplying by eight. So these eights cancel out, they equal one. That gives us one V, which is just V. So the variable is now isolated. V equals, and then on the left side of the equation, eight times eight, that equals 64. So V equals 64, and we can rewrite this with the variable coming first. Let's check that solution by plugging 64 in for V in the original equation. So we have eight equals 64 divided by eight. 64 divided by eight does equal eight, so that's the correct solution. V equals 64. So there you have it. There's how you solve one step multiplication and division equations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.